Good morning, and welcome to St. Francis. Please join in singing our opening hymn, Sing of Mary, which can be found in your worship aid. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we begin this new year, we do so as we celebrate our Blessed Mother. We honor Mary, the Mother of God. We pray that throughout this liturgy, throughout this year, that we may draw closer to her son that she bore, who is our Savior. Hermanos y hermanas, empezamos este año nuevo, dando honor a la Virgen María, quien es la Madre de Dios y nuestra Madre. Preparémonos, pues, para celebrar esos sagrados misterios, pidiendo perdón por nuestros pecados. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh in the womb of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the gift of peace to your people. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bestow on us the abundant blessings of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Stay. 
en la tierra paz a los hombres, llame el Señor. Por tu inmensa gloria te alabamos, te bendecimos, te adoramos, te glorificamos. Te damos gracias, Señor Dios, Rey Celestial, Dios Padre Todopoderoso. Jesucristo, Señor Dios Cordero de Dios, Hijo del Padre, tú que quitas el pecado del mundo, ten piedad de nosotros. Tú que quitas el pecado del mundo, atiende nuestra súplica. Tú que estás sentado a la derecha del Padre, ten piedad de, de nosotros. Santo, solo tu Señor, solo tu Altísimo Jesucristo, con el Espíritu Santo, en la gloria de Dios Padre. Amén. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord.
in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your salvation. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. Let the nations be glad and shout for joy. With uprightness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing. That all the ends of the earth may reveal him. May God bless us in his mercy. May God bless us in his mercy. Lectura de la Carta del Apóstol San Pablo a los Gálatas Hermanos, al llegar la plenitud de los tiempos, envió Dios a su Hijo, nacido de una mujer, nacido bajo la ley para rescatar a los que estábamos bajo la ley, a fin de hacernos hijos suyos. Puesto que ya son ustedes hijos, Dios envió a sus corazones el espíritu de su Hijo que clama Abba, es decir, Padre. Así que ya no eres siervo, sino hijo, y siendo hijo, eres también heredero por la voluntad de Dios. Palabra de Dios. through the prophets in these last days he has spoken to us through the Son Alleluia 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 The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infants lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we begin a new year, and we do so by focusing on our Mother Mary, as well as the divine gift of peace. In our readings, we're asked to, to remember three things, a blessing of peace, a call to live in harmony and unity, and our, our mother, the mother of God, who, brought, who gave to the, to the world the Prince of Peace. So firstly, let's recall this, this prayer of peace, this blessing. And we hear that blessing that Moses is giving to Aaron and his sons. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. That's a prayer of blessing for us and for our world. A prayer of blessing that recognizes that, that God, that through Jesus, the gift of peace is made real. Jesus, who is the Prince of Peace, has established that peace and his reign forever. But what it also calls upon us to do, and that's the second point, is how do we move beyond all the divisions, all the hatred, all the cynicism that exists in our world today. It seems like this gift of peace that in Jesus himself was born as a Prince of Peace 2,000 years ago, it seems to have had little effect in our world. Or has it? We as people of faith know that Christ in establishing his reign, that when we live under his kingship, that that gift of peace is ours. It allows us to have hope, to know that even in the, the most bitter storms and most bitter divisions, that we're not condemned to see that as inevitable, but that through Christ, we have a new way of relating, we have a new way of forgiving, that we have that, that mission he has given to us as a church, is to be those peacemakers, as we read in the Beatitudes. Blessed are those peacemakers, for we are called children of God. And that's what St. Paul is getting at in that second reading. Because of the gift through Mary of our Redeemer and the gift of the Holy Spirit that has been poured upon the earth, that through that Spirit we can call upon God as Father. We can recognize the dignity that each and every one of us has as his children. So that gift of unity and harmony is one that, again, is a divine gift, but one that calls us to live in hope and to live in a new way. You know, and, and luckily for, for us, our church does, just doesn't preach these things. But the church, or God rather, through the church has given us so many saints, so many examples of how to live this out, how to find that hope in a world of despair, how to encounter that new light of Christ 
in the world of darkness. And Mary is the mother of God, shows us as well. I remember um, studying theology, and um, one of the professors talked about this very doctrine. And trying to help us to understand that, that doctrine isn't just a philosophical or a theological statement, but it also teaches us something important in how we live. Maybe another word of saying it, it affects us in our devotion, in our piety, in how we relate to God and the truth of God. And so an example that he gave was just this, when um, the Council of Ephesus, when all the bishops were gathered together, they were sorting out and defining, how do we understand Jesus? Jesus is truly human and truly divine. Which also meant, is how do we understand Mary, his mother? How Mary, yes, is the mother of Jesus. But that from the beginning, from the moment of her conception, that she was also the mother of God, the mother of the second person of the Trinity. The word that they gave her is Theotokos, that she is the God-bearer. She brings the second person of the Trinity into birth in the world. Okay, so that can sound kind of, you know, philosophical, theological. But what was happening at the same time is the people were gathered around the people in Ephesus, around the basilica at the gates. Knowing that these discussions were going on, they were in prayer and they were even shouting out, Mary, Mother of God, Mary, Mother of God, because it's something that they knew deep within. In living their life in faithfulness as faithful disciples of her son Jesus, they knew too that, that Mary was their mother. They knew that that was important. We need to celebrate this and we need to honor it. And we need to make her an important part of our devotional life as well. So that's what we celebrate today, just not only a title, but that relationship that Mary gives to us in bringing her son. But also looking at Mary and her life and knowing that in all the moments that were challenging and her suffering, in her ability to say yes, her willingness to say yes to the Lord, that we find in ourselves, in our vocation as, as disciples, that inspiration and also that, that, that divine grace that we need in order to live as faithful disciples of our Lord. So as we begin this new year, this new decade, let us not forget the role that each and every one of us has to play to being peacemakers. Let us not forget the role that each and every one of us has as we strive more and more to follow her son, to find ourselves as also sons of Mary, and to recognize in, in one another that common humanity, that common family that we share. And just briefly in Spanish, I would like to say one thing in Spanish, that in this day that we celebrate the Virgin Mary as the Mother of God, Lo que celebramos es parte de nuestra vocación, la misión que, de, que Jesús dejó a la iglesia, que nosotros trabajamos por la paz. En la manera que María, pues para, para hacer la voluntad de Dios, ella completamente, completamente aceptó esta vocación de Madre de Jesús, Madre de Dios y Madre de nosotros. Encontramos el Evangelio de, de Juan, esta verdad. Cuando Jesús entregó María a la iglesia a través de San Juan y la iglesia a María. Y lo que nosotros podemos encontrar cuando nosotros tenemos esta conexión de amor a nuestra Madre María, Podemos más y más encontrar que Jesús está cerca, que Jesús está en todas nuestras dificultades, nuestros dolores. Que nosotros podemos tener la gracia necesaria para seguirlo, para cambiar y rechazar el pecado, para poder vivir mejor como sus hijos y sus hijas. Y la cosa final es también es esto, la misión que Jesucristo entregó a la iglesia. Claro, le, le, 
es, es evangelizar. Pero también parte de eso incluye cómo podemos trabajar por la paz. Para que las discordias, el odio, las divisiones, que no pertenecen, que ni son parte del reino de Dios, no tienen ni, ni, lugar, ningún lugar en nuestras familias. ¿Cómo podemos, a través de la imitación de María, podemos trabajar por la paz? ¿Cómo podemos tener este, este, esta esperanza? Hermanos y hermanas, dedicamos nuestras vidas a la Virgen María, nuestra Madre, y Madre de la Iglesia y Madre de Dios. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. God sent his only begotten Son, born of Mary, to dwell among us, and so we are encouraged to pray for our needs. For the Church, that we may fearlessly proclaim the gospel of peace to the whole world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por las víctimas de la violencia, el terrorismo y la guerra, para que conozcan la bendición de Cristo, príncipe de la paz, oremos llenos de confianza. Lord. For our nation and our world, that the coming year will mark the dawning of a new era of justice and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer por todos los difuntos, para que perdonadas sus faltas sean admitidos en la alabanza eterna del cielo, oremos llenos de confianza. Te rogamos, Sojinos. For all of us gathered in this holy place, that we may resolve to know Christ more clearly, follow him more nearly, and love him more dearly, day by day, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Señor Jesucristo, Príncipe de la Paz, derrama a lo largo del año tus gracias abundantes sobre toda la familia humana y por intercesión de María, Virgen y Madre, concédenos la paz en nuestros días. Tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Señor Dios, que das origen y plenitud a todo bien, concédenos que, a celebrar llenos de gozo, la solemnidad de la Santa Madre de Dios. Así nos gloriamos de las, de las primicias de su gracia. Podamos gozar también de su plenitud. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
Santo, Santo, Santo es el Señor de este universo. Llenos están el cielo y la tierra de tu gloria. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Bendito el que viene en el nombre del Señor, Hosanna en el cielo, Hosanna en el cielo, Hosanna en el cielo. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Así pues, Padre, a celebrar ahora el memorial de la pasión salvadora de tu Hijo, de su admirable resurrección y ascensión al cielo. Mientras esperamos su venida gloriosa, te ofrecemos en esta acción de gracias el sacrificio vivo y santo. Dirige tu mirada sobre la ofrenda de tu iglesia y reconoce en ella la víctima por cuya inmolación quisiste devolvernos tu amistad, para que, fortalecidos con el cuerpo y la sangre de tu Hijo, y llenos de su Espíritu Santo, formemos en Cristo un solo cuerpo y un solo Espíritu, que Él nos transforme en ofrenda permanente, para que gocemos de tu heredad junto con tus elegidos, con María la Virgen Madre de Dios, su Esposo San José, los apóstoles y los mártires, San Francisco de Sales y todos los santos, por cuya intercesión confiamos obtener siempre tu ayuda. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the order of bishops all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles, la paz les dejo, mi paz les doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concédele la paz y la unidad, tú que vives y reinas por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. On behalf of Father Kyle and our parish staff, I'd like to wish each and every one of you and your families a very blessed and peace-filled New Year. Pues quiero felicitar a todos ustedes. Um, un, un feliz año nuevo. Que Dios los bendiga con mucha bendiciones de paz. Inclínense para la cabeza. And the Lord be with you. And bow down for the blessing. And may God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Come, come as we journey along.
forging a pathway Others will walk one day Come as we journey along our way Santa Maria, come Come as we journey along our way Santa Maria, Thank <laughs> you.